Hey y'all, let's check out Eldoria. Hey y'all, welcome to day 13 of April Diamonds. I am shy in Second Life, and today we are at Eldoria. We are not doing an outfit check today. I'm gonna keep it a thousand with y'all. Um, it is 11.55 p.m. It is almost midnight. I came across this land and I was like, nope, we're doing it. We're absolutely doing it. I didn't want to lose these emotions overnight, like getting up early and doing this video. So I definitely wanted to bring it to you guys. Now, as I'm seeing it, um, this is a beautiful, fairy themed sam it's like a they call it home of the fey folk uh, when i tell you yeah second life is definitely in their enchanted fairyland bag and i'm not mad at it at all this is not the shared environment but it is very similar to it the shared environment was a little too dark for my taste i felt like even though it made um all of the like the the glowy things like the flowers and things on the ground look really nice it took away from the pop of color that was in the trees so I just went with a different setting that in my opinion wasn't too far removed from um the darker original um shared environment so right off the bat this is really kind of seeming like it's a very walky walky um sam lots of pretty things um i did see a couple fairies when i landed down so i really did like that so yeah it just seems like it's more of a walk around type sam more than an activity type sam so this place has lots of seating thus far that i'm seeing um in that area but lots of really pretty pretty things going on I love it definitely is enchanted they definitely nail that when I tell you I am not mad at all of the interpretations of you know enchanted I'm just not it really gives you an insight on how everyone views enchanted and how many different ways you can actually view enchanted and display enchanted especially especially when they're doing like the the fairies with it so it makes it just that much more magical i love these little jewels and things like that when i landed i saw like all of these little fairies flying around and then i saw the ground and i was like uh uh we're doing it now we, we 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 have to do it we absolutely have to do it am i tired no but do i feel like editing this tonight no will i edit it tonight it's a possibility it's a possibility that i will edit this just so that this is just not something that's hanging over my head for tomorrow or in two minutes today i you know i'm a little behind i'm a little behind i don't like like posting videos like recording videos the day of and posting them the day of i like to have a couple days ahead of me just in case um life gets to life and i don't I, I can have that buffer i didn't do that this time i definitely plan on making up for that later on today i'm gonna get up fairly early and get her done because i don't want to have another day like this but this was a place that like i said i came across it and when i as soon as i landed i just i saw the ground and like the glow colors of the grass and the flowers i said mm -mm. i just did not want to wait just did not want to wait this is beautiful so they have like a little beach is this a unicorn is this a, a horse mermaid all right chilling the horse mermaid said i'm chilling because as soon as somebody come talking crazy i'm going back in the water i get it i absolutely get it super pretty i love all the colors here like absolutely love all the colors here everything is so glowy look how pretty this is y'all everything is so glowy and then you guys know you guys know i love 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 i love me some water in second like i'm walking all through this is, is it a path no we're making it a path here we go 
I love the water. Is it gonna give us some nice water sounds? Let's see. Not really, but that's okay. It looks beautiful. We get the water from the beach. So I love it. Just so many beautiful colors. It really takes you to a special place. It, it gives me such like kitty vibes, but it, it's, it also has a romantic flair to it. When I panned out, it really looked like it was just like a huge walking trail. Can I go in here? Okay. It just looked like it was a huge walking trail. And I was like, I don't know if this is going to be right to bring to you guys. Because I don't ever want to bring like just a walking trail to you guys like i want to look at pretty stuff with y'all and i want to be intrigued by everything and so as i decided to just walk and just take that risk so so glad that i did so so glad that i did look at this pretty purple it's so pretty i love it just everything is so glowy look at that so the the shared environment that they had it was like i said it was very nice but it wasn't showing the colors in the trees i didn't even know the colors in the trees were this vibrant i'm literally on no kind of path i'm just walking y'all the colors in the trees did not show at all they were just kind of bland. And then when I put it in this set and as I was cycling through the environments, I came across this and I was like, yes, this is it. Press record now. So pretty. Oh, it's a never a dull moment. Never a dull. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. I will forever be mesmerized by the landscapers in Second Life and the creativity of like the builders as a whole, how they are able to just bring this type of like whimsy and just fantasy and just all type of enchanted goodness into Second Life to even find these things because these are items that people have made and they have to search for these items to be able to put it on their land now. True enough, there are some creators that create a lot of the things themselves, but I choose to believe that the average creator and landscaper in Second Life, they are outsourcing a lot of these objects simply because it's just easier to. Like, it's cool to make your own things when you're a decorator and things like that. But if you can outsource them, I think it's going to be, I would imagine that it would just be quicker to get everything out as opposed to trying to mesh everything and then bring it into second life and then you're checking pram counts and all of that i think it would just be easier to outsource it this land has so many different twists and turns so many different paths that you can take so many different like things to see and do look at this fairy there are a bunch of these all around look at how many fairies are in here this is what made me want to show you guys because when I landed, it was so many fairies at the landing point. They were all just chilling. Look at this. Look at this. It just gives me, what I tell you, I, I, I like it. I feel like a kid right now. I'm like so in awe of this space. I'm telling y'all, you know, y'all don't have to give me my kudos, but let me, let me tell you something. I have been literally coming to lands just closing my eyes and picking lands coming to the lands panning out simply to make sure that it's not a small piece of land so that i get pretty decent footage for y'all and I, I am not missing i am not missing man this place is beautiful absolutely beautiful the fairies are so colorful i like how each one has their own unique flare their own little color pattern everyone has different wings and different color shoes and different dresses just everything is so different and unique for each fairy i love all of these jewels i love every last one of them i just want to touch everything see if i can click stuff it's so nice it's just so nice. i didn't know if that was something you could click i said listen it's glowing Let, let's see what we can do 
I really love it. Look at these jewels. It's like if the ring popped, like the candy ring was just like the actual jewel, of course. This is what they look like. I'm, I'm assuming this is where the inspiration comes from, but it's giving ring pop. It's giving ring pop and I love it. I love it. It has such an air of nostalgia, just looking at a lot of these things, just the colors. You just feel so, it makes you so happy. It just makes you so happy. Ugh. This is a beautiful space. So beautiful. Look at this. Beautiful. I don't know. I'm excited now. I might edit this tonight. This is beautiful. You know the video that I did today. If you guys haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out. I'll put a card up for it. I was so excited finding all of those new like skyboxes places or skybox places because it's like everybody in Second Life, they have like set places that they go for skyboxes, but there are so many more places that sell skyboxes. And then I wonder if there are like people like me in Second Life that are very much so into using non-conventional spaces and turning them into houses. I've literally lived in every single type of space. I want to see what kind of animations are in here. So we go to Solo. They have all of these. This is cute. Look at how pretty this is. I didn't adjust her or anything like that. So yeah, she's hovering a little bit. Give us some grace. But this is pretty. Let's look at a different pose. And then contemplate. I love it. It's so nice. They put these in really nice spaces so that if you wanted to take like a picture from the back, you have very pretty scenery as well as if you wanted to take a front picture, you have pretty scenery as well. I don't know if they did that on purpose. I mean, the whole land is beautiful, so you, it's really a win-win situation. I love all the glowy things and how the rocks give like a very aged feel to it. It feels, it has that modern yet aged feel to it and i've come across lands that are like that and i'm always very intrigued on how they managed to put those two together and they work very seamlessly i really like this i love waterfalls the rocks in here and second life as a whole just look so realistic I love the water coming down the stream with the flowers and the trees oh, beautiful the overlook here is marvelous there is not a bad spot it's not a bad spot at all and I really love that it makes it so much easier to record when you don't have to like oh this is cute this is kind of like a around the bonfire what does say sit and rest a while I like how they have all of these together so it's like you could come and just chill around the fire with your friends it really seems like the more I venture around Second Life the more beautiful places that I find and everything just really feels endless it just feels like there's a never-ending sea of beauty everywhere and I really really enjoy that and i admire the people that are able to bring this type of creativity together and bring it to us just like it's like a gift that we didn't know even know we were gonna get what's this i don't think i went this way this is so nice i love it you guys I always feel like we are here together because I'm like, I know that I'm bringing this to y'all. So I always keep you guys in mind when I'm looking around places, making sure that I'm like panning in on things that I want to see. And as well as things that I think you guys might be watching a video like, oh, pan in on that. I want to see what that is. So I do. I do. This is very nice. Very, very nice. 
this gives me like even though it's not it gives me like um what is that called like dream catcher vibes i think like the shape of it gives me dream catcher vibes so pretty with all of the colorful jewels and the books that time out of time the little with the little wizard who could sands of the far moon all of these mystical magical books on this beautiful magical looking shelf all of the pretty fairies just chilling in here all of this sitting space so definitely if you want to bring a friend or friends and just really enjoy you guys selves you really can in this space I want to look at this green fairy because green is my favorite color. Here we go. So nice. Let's get a 360. I know that's right. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love how all the rabbits are just hopping around. They're like, we just out here chilling. All of the different wild. It's like rabbits and unicorns and horse mermaids i'm like the only animal that's not whimsical are the rabbits and somehow they also have a whimsical vibe i say you know must be the land so this is like another beach park listening to that water crashing against the sand so beautiful to hear I'm really loving being able to pan out on this land. I love that there's so much going on on this land. And when you pan out, it doesn't leave any kind of inkling as to what is in the woods. And I really love that. I feel like that gives it like just a, a different type of air of enchanted. So I'm not sure how large this land is. It feels like it's larger than a sand, but it very well could just be the way that they have mapped out everything here. So I'm not really, really sure. butterflies I need to take a thumbnail I don't know where I'm gonna take my thumbnail I love these little I don't even know what this is like a little lantern light oh mr. bunny you're gonna let me pan in on you me zoom in so I can see how adorable you are don't hop away cute and he has little like little stars in his eyes they look like flowers so adorable see you later mr. bunny uh, I hope I don't have to cut out a bunch because I just been wandering around look at these bunnies chilling I'm not cutting out anything I don't think it's gonna be a very long video though I don't No, me either mr. bunny I don't think it will they're so cute this just really feels like an enchanted flower garden and I really like that I'm glad that it wasn't just like a really pretty walking path and there were lots of things to see and do and interact with where's this path taking us oh this is pretty can I click this and sit? Where does it take me? Get out of town. You guys, look at what I found. What? I don't even know where I was. I should have panned out to see where I was. Can I click this? What does this do? No, it's just very pretty and colorful. I wouldn't even know how to get back to this. So when you guys come, y'all gonna have to figure it out. And then come back to the comments and let me know where I was when I found this place. Look at this. What? I don't know. 
uh, I don't know. It, this is crazy. This is crazy. I might edit this tonight. This is beautiful. Let me walk around while I'm trying to pan around. Look at all of the sparkly things. What? How did they put this together? Even if this is a build, even if they purchased this and all of this was already like this, the person who made the build, like, what? How did you even think to do something like this? That's their hand. I'm assuming that's how I get back to wherever I was. But this is marvelous. Oh, another green fairy. We're checking out all the fairies, especially the green ones. She looks lost. You're not lost. You at home. You know this place better than I do. So pretty. I love it. Look at this. This is marvelous. This is marvelous. So that's it you guys. Although we did see a lot today, there's still so much to see and do at Eldoria. So make sure you check this place out. The landmark will be in the description box below. So hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.